welcome to another appliance repair video where you can learn how to repair your appliance like a pro. Today we're working on a hot point top load washer and the issue that we're having is that the motor doesn't start. It doesn't agitate or spin. The model number is Hotel Tom Whiskey 240. Alpha Sam Kilo 6 Whiskey Sam. The component that we're going to be replacing is called a capacitor. The capacitor job is to give the extra torque to turn on the motor. I will be testing the capacitor with a multimeter capacitor tester. Another way to test is to visually inspect the capacitor for warping and bulging. You want to unplug the washer? The capacitor is underneath the control panel, so we're going to remove two quarter inch screws, one on each side. After removing the two quarter inch screws, just want to push back. And here we have the capacitor. For safety reasons, to prevent electrical shock, I will be shorting out the terminals with two screwdrivers. Putting them on the terminals and letting it touch each other. Okay, that's how you short it out. I need to remove the terminals. Looks like they switched out the capacitors. If you look at the capacitors, it says 60 microfarads, that symbol. The UF stands for microfarads, plus 5% or less. So how we're gonna check it. Also, this is the new one that you're gonna be replacing, 60 microfarads. So if your meter has microfarads, that's what it looks like right there. Microfarads on your meter, you may not have it. It would be ideal if you do. I am putting my probes on the two terminals. And we have 60 microfarads. And touch this one. And we only have, we don't have 60 microfarads. We got one nanofarad. So we have to remove the capacitor holder in order to do that. Take a little screwdriver. Pick up this tab and spin it to the left and to the right and come out. tab on it. I'm going to put this one down. One that we're replacing. The capacitor is a little bigger. And you put this in the square right there and you turn it and then a little peg falls in the hole. Lock it down. Put it on an angle. And it's in there. terminals and 
Now we're gonna take it for a spin, watch it work. Sit your control panel back on there and bring it forward on both sides. You put your screws in back. We took out the quarter inch screws. Take it for a spin, check it. I want to show you how I put it in diagnostic mode. We're going to take it for a spin. I actually found the service manual blue tape. It's taped in a lower cabinet right underneath here. Just pick this washer up and it's right under there. If you can have access to it, it's a ton of information. But I'll briefly tell you how to put it in diagnostic mode. I put it on at 6 o'clock hold the start button and at the same time turn the knob to 12 o'clock and let the button go. I'm pressing the button, take it to 12 o'clock, let go. You know it's in diagnostic mode because it's blinking. So from there, in your service manual, I want to see it spin or agitate to know that I fixed it. And I'm going to go to step, I believe it is 14, to make it spin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I know by the service manual and the information I have the same information on my iPad number 14 is these three lights lit up soak wash and rinse that's it's on number 14 I went clockwise all you have to do to energize it so it can energize the tests actuate the test is press the start button going to hear two sprays from the water valves. It's supposed to engage with the clutch and then the motor is supposed to turn on. Right now you have the drain pump on. The lid is locked and the motor I believe it's starting to turn now. And at the same time, the drain pump's on. Well, it looks like a fix. I have it in test mode and spin right now, and it's spinning. It takes a little while to increase. In order to turn off the spin and get out of diagnostic mode, press the start button. And then after that, you hold the start button down for more than three seconds and should come out of diagnostic mode. There it goes, it's out. Even if you didn't hit any buttons, it'll probably time out and come out automatically in five minutes. Or you can also unplug it. Well, thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, you can fix it. Bye. Have a wonderful day.